Welcome to Meet the Moment. Today I am with Barak Ilhan, creator of the Smile Mirror. Welcome. Thank you for having me. So excited to have you with me us too. today. And I guess before we dive into the mirror itself, I'd love to know a little bit about your background, how you became a product designer, where you got your education. I, yes, I, I am originally from Turkey and I studied industrial design there. Um, and then I came to New York to study at School of Visual Arts at Pro MFA Products of Design. And yeah, my background is product design, industrial design, experience design, and also performance and acting as well. And I love dipping my toes into psychology yeah. and art. I mean, I'm in that, in those bubbles or intersections, but also learning from technology and engineering. So you created the Smile Mirror and I'd love for you to introduce it and perhaps give us the mission. Yeah. You know, what inspired you to create this amazing so, product? Smile Mirror, and also known as Mirror now, the new brand name, uh, is a magical mirror that is unlocked with your smile. I came up with this idea trying to find a way to create a moment for people to, to be more playful and appreciative of themselves. Right. I did this other project where like we had frames and switches in public and whenever like people turn the switch on the mm -hmm. carriers actors would start laughing um, interesting and then yeah like a lot of people um, the Madison Square Park so you experimented up, the product in Madison Square Park Madison Square Park yes and I mean the hypothesis was can we get people to laugh with us for no reason? <laughs> like, can we design something to activate contagious laughter? Yeah. And from that, like, that was confirmed. People were laughing with us. And then I was like, how can I also... I don't remember the chronological order of designing this and that, but that was about contagious laughter with people. And this is more about contagious smile with yourself. So, I'm so excited. Do you want to show us the mirror? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Wow. Oh my god. Look at this. There's a little rain on it. It's gorgeous. But yeah. Wow. So, give me the walkthrough. How does it work? How does it operate? What are some of the materials you used on it? Right. So, it's plugged, first of all. Okay. There's a, it's plugged and then you hang it on the wall. Cool. Um, and as you see, there's nothing, it doesn't show anything. It's, a, it's an ambiguous, mysterious object on the wall that only hints a little, uh, you know, subtly the smile, um, smile icon. Ever so subtle. And then, yeah, when you, um, there is, for the first time users, there's going to be stickers or wherever you place this. If you're placing it in a store or a shared space, right. there are informational um, play flags next to it but if you know this already and if you want to surprise your guests etc it's a nice uh, you know surprise object yeah because you just give people enough hints to let them explore what it does when you smile it um, it becomes a mirror it shows you your reflection wow and there's a little camera here in the new model it's in the frame Cool. Because we found out that that's better <laughs> for um, maintenance and production. Yeah, I don't know if you see the raindrops on it. I can't. It's not in the design. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm smiling. It's working. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Very cool. And what's the material? The material in this one is, I mean, this is the previous model. This is uh, wood. Cool. Painted. Okay. The current one is uh, molded so that could be manufactured in lar large scales. Very cool. Um, it, it, that the new model has a plastic enclosure, also for um, for shipping purposes, and carry like it encloses fragile electronics. I mean, not fragile, but any electronics, any circuit board is. Yeah. You want to make sure it's protected. Uh, but I I, I love using this. Um, abstract um, more oval friendly shape that you know yeah. takes inspiration from art um, art deco yeah art deco and uh, blends with the furniture rather than represent itself as an electronic unit right right 
So Beric, where do you see the Smile Mirror in the next six months, one year? What are your future plans for this incredible I, product? I am, I'm really excited where it takes me. I, I've been working hard to put it out there so that people can have it and I can, I'm really interested in seeing where, how it becomes a part of people's lives, how it touches them and hearing back from them. Also, yeah. uh, collaborations with institutions and, uh, you know, different groups. What would be your dream placement to see the mirror? Towards? You know, I, w I think I would be really happy if I just walked into someone's apartment that I met yeah. and then see this in their apartment, not knowing it's mine, right. my design. But also places that are that lack um, joy, especially like I mean you could hospitals yeah. or dentists dentist clinic um, I think of also public areas but it needs to be designed specifically for right. public use because there are different design considerations for that yeah um, so we are obviously called Meet the Edge as a creative oh, you partner. Are. Yes. <laughs> and I'm curious throughout your career thus far, yeah. being a product designer and an actor, what do you think has been your edge? Oh, I love living on the edge. <laughs> I mean, you know, the moment it blends with anxiety, the excitement and anxiety that you need to trick yourself that it's excitement, not anxiety, but also taking a large risky step. So something unusual happens. And I love, I love that you guys branded yourself as Meet the Edge. And I love, I mean, I'm so excited to see what comes from Meet the Edge because I love the energy and the momentum that you guys have. We love hearing that as well. So we have a lot of designers that follow us and I'm curious what advice you would give for someone that maybe has an idea, but they don't know how to get there. I mean, thank you for asking me for, for my advices, but I'm still in the process. I see myself as the advice seeker. <laughs> But I, would, I guess I would suggest being curious and um, risk-taking, risk-taking, not following the trends or not following already proven, um, already like established large ideas, but... Challenging conventionality. Yeah, exactly. And also finding what matters to you and what matters to the world at the same time, that sweet stop spot the intersection of that yeah so yeah. you do something personal something that matters to you but not irrelevant to what's going on in the world certainly i love that well beric thank you so much for joining us on this episode oh, of meet the moment thank you for having me you are clearly meeting the moment with cutting edge technology the perfect guest for us to feature and we're lucky to call you a friend so thank you so me much too. thank you <laughs>